The circle of excellence. This is for you to improve your outlook, your mood, and to lift yourself up whenever needed. You can listen to this over and over. While I speak with you, you'll shift your position a little bit here and there. Your physiology, the way you hold your body, has a lot to do with the way you feel and what your outlook is. Choose a seat where you can stand up and sit down. Hold nothing in your lap. Now get out of your chair and stand up. Stand up for me right now, right in front of your chair. Make sure you have a little room in front of you. Okay. Go ahead and just relax your arms and hands. Let them down by your sides with your arms straight. I want you to visualize, imagine, or pretend there's a circle in front of you on the ground, right there in front of you. You can make it as big as you could possibly want, or as small. I want you to just notice that. Notice the circle. I want you to just think what color it would be. I want you to think what it would sound like if there was a sound to it. What it would smell like if there was a scent to it. If there's a feeling to it. Now, let's have this circle be your circle of excellence where you are functioning in a state of excellence where you are congruent with yourself, mind, body, and emotions. And then I want you to stand up for me. Stand if you haven't already and relax your arms and hands. Now, I want you to think back to any time in your life when you felt like you were in a state of excellence, when you had the confidence, when you had the self-esteem, Maybe it was today, maybe it was yesterday, maybe it was when you were 10 years old, or maybe when you were 21 years old. But you had really positive beliefs, you had good resources, you were in a state of excellence. Things looked good, felt good, sounded really, really good. Now, I want you to breathe that in. I want you to notice your body language as well. When you're in this state of excellence, what's going on with your spine? Are the shoulders back? Where is your head? Where are the arms and hands? Be aware of your energy. As your energy expands around you, your entire body, and just being in this state of excellence. Now, what I want you to do, you can do it with eyes open or closed. Take this energy and take a little baby step and step forward into your circle of excellence. Eyes open or closed, just step into your circle. And if you've opened your eyes, now close them and imagine that circle of excellence just surrounding you totally and completely. You can feel it. Maybe you opened your palms up or maybe you kind of pressed them down. You feel the energy of it. You can visualize or imagine the state of excellence. Just going into the feet all the way up, up into the legs, into the hips, into the body, the chest, the shoulders, the arms, and the hands, and the fingertips. The state of excellence is going all the way through the spine, into the neck, all the way up into the facial muscles, then all the way up through the top of the head into the center of the universe. The state of excellence now that you are a success today 
and any time you step in to the state of excellence, your circle of excellence. It's going to trigger a really positive resource state that you know that you have. You have this positive resource state. You have tools. You know that you have confidence. You do have self-esteem. You are able to communicate effectively and find out information. So, just allow that state to be there, however you decide it to be. Breathe it in. Breathe. Good. Now, exhale slowly and then open your eyes. I want you to take a little step back out of your circle. Just step out of your circle for a moment because this is now going to become an anchor for you. This is what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes and release and let go of that circle of excellence. Just let it go. And now, I want you to think of situations that have been in the past that could have been difficult for you. People, places, events, where you were maybe having challenges that you were having struggles with. And notice the physiology, how it changed in the body. Notice the thoughts in your mind. What has shifted? What's going on on an emotional level? Now, just think of a situation of a person, place, or event that was challenging you, perhaps in a negative way. And when you have that, just nod your head yes. Go ahead and actually nod your head yes. And just know that that is in the past. And that old behavior, those old thoughts, those old feelings, no longer need to have the ability to control or affect you. Because now you have a state of excellence that you can step into. Now, when you're ready, eyes open or closed, go ahead and take that step forward and step into your circle of excellence. And change your physiology around now. Do it consciously and breathe in. Allow the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual state of excellence to come to you. Slip back into that level of confidence. Slip back into that level of success because your mind unconsciously has all the resources that you need. And anytime you're struggling or having challenges, step out of that state. And in this state, with your eyes closed, look your eyes upwards. Just look up to your forehead through your eyelids. When your eyes go upwards, you're in a visual mode or state. Because when you look upwards, your eyes are accessing your visual cortex. Good. Now bring them back to normal. Open your eyes. Step back out of your circle of excellence. And just shake it out for me a little bit. Shake your arms and hands. Shake them out. We'll do it again a couple more times, okay? So close your eyes or keep them open. Whatever feels safe and easy for you. Think of another challenging time or situation. Maybe it's right now. Maybe it's in the past. And it's still affecting you. 
Check your physiology. Notice what's going on inside. Is it a person? Is it a place? An event? Just notice what happens, but don't keep it for too long. And when you're ready, step into your circle of excellence and shift out of it. Immediately shift out of it. Change your physiology, your body, and breathe. Change your psychology, your mindset. Let's anchor this state. Hey, maybe you want to have a keyword with it. Maybe you want to do something with your hand or hands. I always just rub my middle fingers onto my thumbs while I'm doing this. Maybe put your fingers all together. Maybe open your palms upward. Maybe hold them downwards. Maybe take a couple deep breaths so you can anchor and recognize the circle of excellence. Any time you step into the circle, it changes your physiology. It changes your psychology. Good. Hold on to it. Look upwards. Smile. Keep your eyes closed, but look up. Good. Bring your eyes back forward and downwards. Now open your eyes. Step back out of the circle of excellence. Shake it out again. I'm going to have you do it on your own this time. Shake it out. So, just think. People, places, events, or situations, now or in the past, that are affecting you. You want to shift your physiology the second that it comes up. This is called anchoring as well. The second it comes up and you recognize it in the physiology, get out of it. Step into your circle. Shift your state. What do you need to do to shift your state? Breathe. Let it go. Breathe. And just remember, you're always moving forward. You're always walking forward. You're always stepping forward. Step into this behavioral flexibility. Know your outcome. Have good sensory acuity. Get into the state of excellence right now. Smile. Smile. Keep your eyes closed and look up. Good. Now, open your eyes. Stay where you are. Turn and just see and acknowledge your surroundings. Be aware that you are in a state of excellence. Notice your physiology. Good. Tell yourself, good job, good job. To shift away from negativity or depression, smile.